Hello and welcome to a new lesson with me, Mr. McNulty. Today we are going to be looking at the C major scale. So in the previous lesson we learned about the notes on the stave. So we learned about the notes on each line of the stave, so E, G, B, D and F. And we learned about the notes in between each line on the stave, so F, A, C, E. If you can't remember and you would like to look back at this video to get a little bit more confident, then please do so, you can find it on my channel. When you're ready to move on, just come back to this video and press play. So here are the notes of the C major scale. And you might notice that the first two notes are below the stave. But don't worry, you can work backwards through the note order that we learned in the previous lesson to identify the notes. If you'd like to have a go at decoding the notes in the C major scale yourself, pause the video here, and when you're ready to check your answers, press play. So, the notes in the C major scale are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. How many of them did you get correct? So, you will have noticed that there are two C notes in the C major scale that are an octave apart. So, the order of the notes is C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then we have another C. So, the question you might be asking yourself is, what is an octave? So, just like an octagon or an octopus, and our little octopus here is telling you that it has eight legs. An octave means that the first and second note that are the same, so C in this example, are eight notes apart. So you can pause the video here and count the notes. And if you want, you could even have a go at writing the correct note name underneath each note. When you're ready to move on, press play. So just like individual notes can be an octave apart, like both of the C notes from the previous slide, all of the notes in the scale can be an octave or more apart too, so you can play the same scale in a lower or higher octave. So the first octave shown in this picture is lower down on the stave, so it will be lower in pitch than the second octave. So the second octave will have the same notes, however, they'll be in a higher octave, so they will sound a higher pitch. Pause the video here and have a go at drawing out a C major scale by yourself. I've included the notes in the stave below to help you out. When you're ready to move on, press play. The next thing we're going to talk about is what the C major scale sounds like. So you can see that the order of the notes is C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C. But you might also notice that beneath the note we have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti and Do. And later on in this video, I'm going to show you what that sounds like on a couple of different instruments. I'm sure you might be familiar with Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. And if you're not, you'll soon be able to recognise what it sounds like. For the next activity, we're going to have a go at matching the sound to the note name. So can you identify the notes in the scale that sound like 1, Do? So what note is Do? Two, me, three, so, four, t, five, fa, and six, re. So pause the video here and write down the correct note next to each sound. When you're finished, press play. Now, can you draw the same notes on the stave? Can you draw? the correct note of Do, where would that be on the stave? Then Mi, then So, then T, then Fa, then Re. Remember that you can skip back to the C major scale to check your answers. Now we're going to have a listen to what the C major scale sounds like, and we're going to have a look at some of the ways that you can have a go at home. So the first thing we're going to do is have a listen to what the C major scale sounds like on a piano. I'm using the app GarageBand that you will be able to access on Apple devices, but there are lots of different digital audio apps that you can download for free through the Play Store if you've got an Android device, 
or you can even search for an interactive piano on your internet browser. So the first note I'm going to find is the note of C on this little keyboard on the screen that is identified here. So that's the note of C or Do. Then we have D, Re, E, Mi, F, Fa, G, So, A, La, B, T, and then I've got C, Do again. So hopefully you can recognize that little tune when we call that a major scale. And the C major scale is quite an easy scale to play because we don't need to use any of the black notes on the piano, any of the sharps or flats. The next thing I want to show you is how we can hear the different octaves. So here's the note of C, and here's the next note of C, an octave up, an octave higher in the stave. Additionally, we have an octave lower. So I'm gonna to go to middle C, and here's an octave lower. So what I would like you to do is have a go at playing a C major scale yourself, just moving one note along each time. And you can even descend through the scale. Fantastic. If you're able to do that, then well done you. You've learned a new thing. You've learned how to play a major scale. And the next thing that you can do is apply your knowledge of the note names to figure out what note comes next on the piano. So if I know that this note is C and I'm looking for the note of E, I know that it's two notes further along the scale. So C, D, E. And you can use that, that principle to find any of the notes in the C major scale. So you can count the number of notes along the scale and that is the same for the position on the keyboard from C. So guys, I hope this lesson's been really helpful to you and I hope that my piano playing wasn't too bad. I'm kind of nursing a little hand injury at the moment, so I was definitely poking and pointing along the keyboard. I wasn't as kind of careful as I should have been. If you've enjoyed this lesson, I'm going to be keeping more lessons like this coming on my channel over the coming weeks. Stay safe. Thanks for watching the video. See you soon. Bye.